Hey guys, I'm Jared with Striker Boats, and today I wanted to answer a few questions that I've seen on forums from various people, not necessarily anything to do with our boats, but it's something that a lot of people don't know or understand fully. So I want to just help a little bit with that process and understanding today. Um, and what that is, is what often people refer to as cavitation. Cavitation is often confused with ventilation. Ventilation occurs when a boat and outboard are not set up ideally. And what happens is the prop is too close to the surface of the water. It allows some air to be drawn into the prop spin. And what happens is the engine over revs, you lose forward momentum. And, and that's what we call cavitation. It's very common with a jet outboard. There are some easy fixes. And so we'll talk about those. So guys, there's four things that we like to look at when we're trying to overcome the issue of ventilation slash cavitation if you are having a problem. The first thing I like to do is to trim the motor all the way down to the first hole and then you can work your way back from there. So that's all the way down is a good starting point. Run it until, keep going up until you're ventilating and then bring it back. And so what you wanna have, you wanna be able to do tight turns and corners and you don't want ventilation to be present. The other thing that is a very popular option for people is you can add what's called a hydrofoil. So a hydrofoil will help keep that prop under the water. Um, it's also gonna improve your, your get out of the hole performance or your hole shot as it's otherwise known. So what that does is it attaches to your ventilation plate on the outboard itself. And when you give it gas, it's gonna kind of rest on that and a lot of people especially if they're going to be using the boat by themselves they really appreciate having that at the back of the boat and it's just something for the boat to sit up on it allows it to get up on plane faster prevents ventilation in a lot of cases so that's another really good option to look at and then so when we have a customer that's running a jet who who seems to be having some of those issues it's kind of that few different approach methods we recommend the other thing we really like to do is a set of five degree positive tuck transom wedges so th marine transom wedges and what that does is it puts the outboard five degrees tilt further into the water and what that does is it just allows the prop to bite a little bit harder or the jet to grab a little bit more water especially in those tight corners so jets can be fairly finicky to set up props aren't so finicky but sometimes depending on how you use your boat where you put your weight distribution within that boat there are some things to consider now the last thing we usually recommend is a prop change sometimes a prop change will fix um, a ventilation issue but it is the last thing on the list that we usually go for so thanks guys hopefully we helped you to look at if you are having a ventilation issue help to kind of look at some potential fixes that you can move forward with and good luck out there a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive